Hello everybody, this is myself, Paragon the Pharaoh again, doing another video of interest of mine. And that's basically um, the person of Moses, okay? In the Bible, Moses is claimed to be a great person who is really nice and he was even said to be the humblest person on earth. Um, realistically speaking, he was not a good person, number one. Number two, uh, he probably did not write uh, the first five books. And embedded in that is a problem which I'd like to show you by using a timeline which I made. Okay? Alright. So it's a very simple timeline which is roughly about what happens from Genesis to the last of the five first five books okay more or less all right and you'll see what I mean so all right so here is the timeline the first is AE for Adam and Eve right then the whole tarot the Tower of Babel excuse me the flood Abraham and his exploits Exodus and then Moses this is a rough timeline right Okay, here's what I want to show. Egypt, the nation, was already in existence around this time. When Abe was around, okay? And then Exodus happens, right? You know, Moses is born and everything. Here, Moses, what I'm trying to show is that Moses is on top of Mount Sinai, handing out laws or whatever the case is. The question for my uh, my Muslim friends, my Christian friends, and my Jewish friends who actually believe that somebody named Moses wrote down the first five books is at which point did he write those first five books? Okay? Where approximately in the timeline? The reason why this is important is if he, let's say, wrote the first five books, right? That means he made up the notion that the Jews are chosen people and more of concern to me is that he made up the notion that the Jews were supposed to get the promised land. And that is important because that led, that led to the Jews killing men, women, and children in order to take the land. If Moses made it up around here on the timeline, right on Mount Sinai now if he makes if he gets this revelation they call it a revelation in religious speak as in like all of a sudden like you get like a great idea or you have an encounter with God like Moses did where he actually sees his rear end but it's crazy right so let's say that's when he gets the revelation what I'm saying stating here is that if he gets this revelation and he writes all this stuff that means that these people, Abraham, and these stories, the flood and Tower of Babel, may not have really happened because he's the one that's writing the story. If everybody knew about Abraham, the Tower of Babel, then why is he presenting it to the people? They already know, right? And if he's writing it just for the Jews, then he's just writing it just for the Jews, like they didn't know somehow. The reason why this is important is because if everybody knew, namely the Canaanites, right, that there was somebody named Abraham that got promised a promised land, then basically they're like trespassing, so to speak. But not really. I, you, you probably won't be able to prove that they knew that they were occupying some territory that were to belong to another group of people. My hypothesis is that Moses, right here about where he, you know, made it out with his people, if it's true, made the story up. And if he made the story up, everything before then, including these people, Adam and Eve, are fiction. I hope I'm transmitting my point very well. Adam and Eve, Tower of Babel, Flood, Abraham, Exodus... If he gets the revelation out at Sinai, right, or he makes it up, which is like the same thing to me, then 
Adam and Eve, talking snake, talking donkeys, it's just mythology. Where did he get it from? Where, well, some of you may know about the uh, Code of Hammurabi that um, Sar Sargon of Acadia, something like that. These are the parallel stories, okay, that closely mirror Moses, if he existed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we need to know more about the surrounding cu cultures and their mythologies. But this map really, for me, illustrates how if Moses was real and he makes up these, these stories, that part of the things that he makes up is the notion that the Jews are supposed to get this promised land. And that is really foul because a lot of people suffered back then because he killed men, women, and children, right? And he made slaves of the remaining people. And it causes hardship today because a lot of the uh, people that are believe, they believe to be Jews are going back over to the current state of Israel because they're claiming that the Bible says so, that it belongs to them. And if Moses made it up, then he's a bad person twice over. So I want to get some responses from you. Uh, and some if you won't have any questions, let me know. But I just want to show you my diagram of the rough timeline. I know it's kind of rough of what I believe is that whoever wrote the first five books just basically made it up. All right, so hope to get some responses and let me know what you think.